Hola and bienvenidos everybody, my name is Nitpick and if you don't know who I am, I am a flutist and a music educator who enjoys all types of music. Today we're going to be checking out Phantom Sita. This is a band that has been put together by Addo and I really like Addo's music so I was like why not check them out. The song we're going to be checking out today is called Just Wanna with you. I don't know what the word is, so we're just gonna check it out. So before we jump in, if you end up liking what you see here on this channel, please like and subscribe. If you want to check out some extra stuff, there's some links down in the description below for my Discord where you can hang out, talk to me and some other music nerds, as well as my Patreon where you can check out some extra content. But as you check that out, let's jump into this. We kill somebody already? <laughs> One, oh, 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 oh. It's your zero, 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 lady, lady. Bats, 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 back in. Hold on, I'm safe, I'm safe. Hey, I'm good. Before we jump into the next part, so from what I'm understanding, it's like, especially from the the outfits they're wearing and some of the, the choreography, I don't know what to, to, to means, but from the lyrics, it seems like there's some kind of murder going on here. Like, I want to kill you or... I don't think that's exactly the word. Kill is not long enough for four X's. But it's the fact that we have this red on the bottom of these skirts and the choreography of this. I love the facial expressions we're getting in the group. It's There's a lot of action with the face. And I love that. And also the music. As soon as I heard that this was Addo's idea... I was like, it's gotta, it's gotta sound similar. It sounds similar. I love this orchestral electronic opening. And it almost has like, hear me out. <laughs> it sounds like the opening to Sailor Moon for a minute, but in a horror type fashion. You know, it's supposed to be spooky on purpose. And I like it. It's, I, I'm a big, like, scary horror type fan like video games i love horror video games i love scary things um blood guts gore love it i'm it those are my favorite things to like watch and read and it, i'm weird i guess but this scratches that itch and i love the like the Typical schoolgirl outfit, but with the red coated clothing. I love this. One eighty. Listen to all the electronica sounds. Yeah. It's got that Halloween kind of sound effect to it. I 
always love it when pretty cute girls look scary. <laughs> Ooh, even the elbows are red. It's not, this makes me, this is probably like letting my audience in on the things that I like. And I, I don't talk about myself too often other than me being a musician, but like if you, we wanted to talk about things that I like via my hobbies and things that I enjoy. Yeah. Like this is up my alley. I love this kind of like, it's like they're planning an execution of this man. <laughs> and of course it's a dude, right? Like. I just love that they have this this like circle and they're all wearing uniforms and it's so it's spooky and it's cool. I know I haven't really talked too much about the music other than like obviously this is produced music, right? So there's not real instruments being played. It's mostly like soundboard style music. So somebody had to go in and program these instrumental sounds and probably like program programmed it to a keyboard where you can hear a rise in pitch um you can hear that especially with the orchestral parts like they're the same sounds but you hear them in different pitches and that's that and then we have an electronic beat what's unique about this though especially since this is the first time i've seen this this kind of reminds me of a of a video game I've played before like two games. So it's kind of like Fatal Frame where like basically you take pictures of ghosts in a house. That game is extremely frightening. Um, I do not recommend playing that alone at night, but it kind of reminds me of that. Or um, what is the other one? White Day, a labyrinth named School or something like that. It's kind of along the lines in that in my brain. It's feeding off of that. And it's scary because, like, in those games, like, you see moths and stuff and flying around and you follow them to your other location and stuff like that. This is what this reminds you of. But it's so spooky. I love this. And the words, like, like a toad making your throat resonate. They, this is, like, anger. This is pissed off mode. Yeah, he's... Is the only one that exists, it feels like. And they are torturing him from beyond. This is so cool. <laughs> oh my god, I love this. Oh my god, I get it. Okay, so we get the we get the chorus over and over. I 
I really do appreciate the electronic. Look, I'm gonna be real. This is artistically, it is complex. I love what's happening here with the the creative design and the artistic directory of this. Like, I wonder, I, I this is the only song I've seen, so I wonder if all their stuff is like supposed to be horror coded. So everything's supposed to be very scary, which I love that if it is because yes tell me this would be every got like goth's dream and especially if you're like a japanese goth like hello this is great as someone who used to be who used to dress goth all the time and enjoyed this kind of stuff like this is this is my cup of tea i love this and the fact that it doesn't have to be metal i guess like that's my other thing like this is very it's very techno pop, electronic pop music, and I love that. It's different, but it's got that kind of blood and fear put into it, and I like that. Is it simpl simplistic? Yeah. Is it the music just purely produced? Yes. Is it bad because of that? No. This is good music. It's, it's a fun time. I like it. I think this is great. And... It's a cool idol group having the idea of just having this horror concept. It's really cool. I really like it. I need to check out more. <laughs> so Otto produced this group, but did they create the music and the lyrics and stuff or did somebody else do that? Let's continue that conversation down below. Let me know what you know about Phantom Sita. Also, I just realized I didn't finish my thought in the video, but Phantom, they're ghosts. These girls are not alive. They're haunting. This is cool. This is so cool. Anyway, continue the conversation down below. What do you think about Phantom Sita? What do you think about this song? What do you think about the fact that this is more produced music versus like having live instrumentation? I'm just curious. I Those things don't bother me. Somebody's got to produce it somehow, right? And that's still a form of art. So anyway. Let me know what you think down below. And as usual, if you like the videos, please like and subscribe. And if you want to, you can check out those links down in the description for my Discord and my Patreon, where you can check out extra content as well as some free content that gets blocked on YouTube. So anyway, I hope you enjoyed today and I hope you have a great day and I will see you in the next video. Peace out.